Hey everyone, Creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial as you can see on our screen right now. I have created this beautiful texture uh, using Microsoft Office 365 PowerPoint presentation. So let's start. The very first step is to create this square shape and apply uh, I mean fill gradient color and here I have filled this nice vibrant blue and purple gradient color here you can use different gradient styles you can search online for various gradient tools gradient generators there you can create your own custom gradient and apply it here so i have created this gradient style um, we have to try different angles here and let's move the gradient stops here and there a bit i think three would look good here let's change the color on one of the stops here now it is looking much better much much better now let's apply this effect shadow effect increased the blur change the shadow color from black to this vibrant blue i think this color will look good the dark blue so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna create many more squares like this and we have to place them randomly and in the end a beautiful texture will appear so powerpoint presentations are fun you just have to try different things here i just thought why not to create a random set of squares and it will create a beautiful texture and in the end the result was really beautiful as you have seen in the starting of this video so you just have to play here make sure everything looks arranged of course these are randomly placed but but these should make some sense i mean the whole geometry should make some sense you know what it's like randomness with some order so that's how i would like to define it so i have created this complete group and duplicated it to save effort and time and now we have lots of squares here and again duplicated it now let's change the angle here and ungroup now we have these lots of squares right now stacked over each other group them together let's rotate them a bit so we have rotated these by 45 degrees let's place them here so now you can see a beautiful texture is coming out and you can use such textures in technology technology related presentation slides this this kind of texture would make more sense there so again duplicated this complete texture here but we will send it to back and we have to you know fill white solid color and increase its transparency let's remove its shadow here and now we have to you know increase the transparency and a beautiful effect is coming out so i'm creating it in the real time it's not like that i have already tried and tested this kind of design so here you can see a beautiful design has uh, appeared and we haven't done anything fancy here these are just random placement of squares and in the end we have changed the angle of these squares now you can write some text some branding here 
title of the slide, facts, figures, whatever you want to add here. So as you can see, if you look at this slide, you will think that it is a very complicated slide and it, it must have taken a long time to create such slide, placing each square and creating this complete stack of shapes and it must have taken you know hours to create such slide but it took me just three to four minutes or five minutes to create this kind of slide so it's all about how you think how you imagine and how you place things so you can do it you know and you can create beautiful design concepts so the design is complete here and let's do some more fun stuff here let's add branding here so we'll write here pretty venus blah 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 and it's quite easy so i have i'm not you know focusing on the text part here you know it's quite easy to insert text in presentation and there is nothing too much to explain so you can write anything here creative venus you can write you know part one volume mm -hmm. number reference number anything you would like to write here now ungroup every component on this slide and we are doing it for the animation part in the animation we will apply a trick and for that we need to go to more emphasis effects so more entrance effects here we can choose this basic zoom option uh, yeah i think basic zoom will look good here i'm just looking at different options here and thinking at the same time so it's totally up to you you can pick any of these but i think i should go with basic zoom option only and in the animation pane you have to start with previous you have to select start with previous and change the duration to one and increase the delay by 0.25 now the trick is you have to select few of these items uh, i mean you have to deselect first you have to select all these items and then deselect few items from the top and then increase the delay by 0.25 then again deselect few items from i mean five to six items and increase the delay by 0.25 and you can also keep on changing the duration as well for different sets so you can keep on deselecting the items, increasing the delay, changing the duration and in the end what you will get is this beautiful animation. So guys if you like this video please hit the subscribe button, click on the like button, share your thoughts in the comment section, you can join the membership to support our work and keep on watching our videos this will motivate us to bring out more such videos so thank you guys you guys are awesome peace